Hey everybody and welcome back. In this video what we're going to talk about is the trail foot. Now this is kind of a really big deal um, because Mr. Hogan even added a spike to the ball joint on the inside of his trail shoe which for him would have been his right foot. He did not, let me repeat this, he did not add an extra spike to his right heel. Think about this for a minute. He put an extra spike on the ball joint of the right foot, not the heel. Okay? A lot of us have been taught when we go to the top, we really have to feel this pressure in our right heel. That is absolutely wrong because he did not put the spike in his right heel. And if I get to the top and I'm feeling this heel, guess what? When you stand up straight in your life, okay, I'm just going to stand here for a minute, just kind of hang out. I guarantee you, you do the same thing as me, your weight is in your heels. So if it goes to your heel, all of it, your body is now in a what? Resting, stagnant position. There is no movement. My body understands this. I'm just standing here. The second I get to my ball joint, I'm ready to go do something. Okay, so think about this for a minute. If I know the pressure is on the inside of this right heel and I've got everything set up and I'm going to make my takeaway and then I'm coming back, I feel this ball joint where Mr. Hogan had that extra spike nailed into the ground. And then all of a sudden, once I get to the top and I've recentered, my there's a little bit of weight on my heel, but it's not all the way back. It's not all the way back. It's I'm taking this extra spike in this part of the ball joint, and then all of a sudden I'm here. I made my trigger. I come back. Now as I'm rotating up, that pressure in my ball joint feels like it is rotating clockwise this way to get me to the top. And once I'm at the top, do I feel a little bit of pressure in my heel? Yes, a tiny, but it is not push the weight back and get it all the way back to my heel. It is because I have rotated to the inside of my feet, but that extra spike in Mr. Hogan's shoe allows it to go, aha, now I feel the ball joint and everything else. So now when I make that transition, because my weight isn't in my heel, if my weight was in my heel, what most people do is they go like this and they unweight the heel. So if we're like this, I'm going to do it right by keeping that pressure there. But now I'm going to push it back into the heel. So now when I start coming down, I'm not going to, this foot isn't going to roll like the way that it's supposed to. It's going to start to want to go this way, which is no good because resting position my weight is on my heel. So now I've got to unrest that. And when I unrest it, most people are going to go this way. So when we can understand this right foot, where this extra spike was in Mr. Hogan's foot, is simply him just feeling like he's torquing into the ground clockwise with that extra spike. Then he goes to the top, and because it's there, my weight isn't on my heel. Now when I start to make the transition, the foot is actually going to feel like it's going this way because the heel is going to promote that way. So when we can really tell ourselves why Mr. Hogan did not have an extra spike in his right heel. He had it on the inside part of the ball joint, providing that I can really torque that ball joint, get this wind up in my leg and everything else. I get to the top, and even though it is torqued and going here, you're still going to get this position that he talks about. But you're not going to get it by pressing this heel and getting this weight on this heel because that when, you're, when, you're, when you put your heels on the ground and you've got your weight on top of your heels, your brain thinks, okay, Chris, we're resting, we're chilling out, everything's really cool, what's up? And then all of a sudden when I have to go do something, my weight gets off of my heels and then transitions to my ball joints to let me do something. So when I've got this clockwise torque going into the ground, as I go this way to get to the top of the swing, that pressure is building, building, 
building. Then this foot, again, is working on this ball joint on the left side because the foot's going like rolling like this way. It's rolling this way. It's not being picked up like this. So all of a sudden, when I've torqued the foot, rotating into the ground, like just turning it into the ground clockwise, go to the top, there's my rebalance move. Now when I'm coming down, I can feel how I'm on the ball joint and not the heel because the ball joint is for athleticism and I mean that in the simplest form the second you get to your ball joint your brain knows oh it's time to respond to something whether you're walking whether you're trying to make an athletic movement all these different things so when the ball joint is connected into the ground with that third spike like Mr. Hogan said like Mr. Hogan didn't say he actually put a spike in his shoe to be able to feel that and then when he got to the top once he's at the top he's his foot is torquing like there's no tomorrow and then he's got that now all of a sudden he starts coming out of it he gets these great angle changes and he's able to push off of this ball joint which then allows that foot to slide but if he had his weight on his heel working heel to heel that is not what he was doing he was working ball joint to ball joint Ball joint to ball joint is part of a side effect that when I'm at the top and I'm loaded, do I feel a little bit of some sort of connection with the trail heel? Absolutely you do because it's your foot. They're the only things that your feet are the only things touching the ground. But when you get here and you say, okay, I'm going to push this back to try to get this weight on my heel, you're going to be in all kinds of trouble. You're going to get stuck. You're going to get just bad things can happen because if it's on the heel and you're starting to come down, you're not going to, I can feel this. If it's on my heel and I start to come down to right here, I still feel it on my heel, which is telling my brain, you're not ready to do anything. You're in a resting position as far as my subconscious is concerned. But when I get here and I go to the top and I'm feeling this connection with the third spike into the ball joint, I'm turning that into the ground clockwise. I get here and I start to make the transition. I'm not jumping up on my here to get it to happen. I can feel how it's now just corking into the ground more with that ball joint. There comes the transition. I'm pushing off of that ball joint to get me to come into the finished position. Okay, so hopefully this is going to help you really start to feel it. Do not, under any circumstance, work heel to heel. Work ball joint to ball joint. Even though you're rotating, you're torquing that into the ground in the backswing. Ah, I don't feel all this back on my heel. I feel it right on that ball joint where I'm athletic. There is some pressure on the heel, but it is not all of it. So then when I'm starting to come down, the second I'm coming down, I can feel this rotation of the ball joint, which is are the torquing sensation that I'm getting into the ground, which watch what happens. It's letting the knees, it's letting everything follow because my body is now in this athletic situation because I'm on my ball joint. Try it out for yourselves, guys. It's really going to help you a lot.